Hi, today I'm going to talk about uh, chapter 25, Geometric Optics. The first idea is about the right aspect of the light. Uh, the word ray, ray of light or light ray comes from the mathematics and here the mean of the strange light that originates at some point. Here, for we have the light bulb which shine here and they will uh, and it will admit the light at the rays in the vacuum or in the, in the air. Something like this. Uh, like this. We use the rays of light to easier to uh, match, to calculate, to draw the picture, the image of the object when the light moves from one medium to another medium, from the vacuum to the air, from the air to the water, or good stuff, or reverse. So, geometric optics is the terms about the part of the optic dealing with the ray aspect of the light is called geometric optic. The first idea, the first law of the geometric optic is the law of the reflection. Uh, the law of reflection defines that the angle of the reflection equals to the angle of incidence. And this is in the mathematic note here. Theta E, theta I for incident equal to theta R for reflection. It means and the angle, the, the incident angle and reflected angle is defined as from the incident ray to the perpendicular uh, line to the surface. Similar for the reflected word ray. Right? It means when we have when we have a mirror, something like this. To draw this, we have the incident. We draw the perpendicular line here. And then we draw the reflected here. And now, the instant and the reflected. The second idea of the geometric optics is refraction. Refraction is a change of the light rays direction where it passes through a variation in matter is in matter. This means in the picture here we will see that the light is not go changed. Instead, it's changed the direction a little bit. In the case we have air and water. So because that reason, when we see the fish, the human see the fish, the fish may be right here. But the human believe that the fish may be here. That the reason because the refraction occurs. And the second law is the law of the refraction. In the law of the refraction we have the index of refraction one times two sin theta one equal to index of refraction two times two sin theta two. And the index of refraction is measured by the speed of the light in vacuum divided by the speed of light in this medium we, and we will find that the index of refraction is different between the material what air is around one equal to in vacuum or quarter 
around 1.33. It's different between the material. The next part is about the total internal reflection. The collision to this occur always that a ray of light guide the surface between two materials, in which the first material, the incident material, have the index larger than index of direction larger than index relation of the second material. And because according to the law of the refraction, we have that when n1 larger than n2, it means sin theta 1 will smaller than sin theta 2, and so theta 1 will, slow, will smaller than theta 2, with theta in 0 to p over 2. Okay, if we increase the theta 1 angle here, initially Initially, the angle may be like this, theta 1, but we increase the angle to the theta c angle of the, ang the critical angle. The refracted the free ray will be 90 degrees, like the picture right here. And we can calculate the critical angle with the, the equation. What will happen if we still increase the angle from theta 1 from theta c and release larger? There are no more reflected. Okay. And the, all the incident incoming ray will be reflected totally back to the first material, third environment, third medium, no the reflected ray in the second medium. With this phenomenon, we can apply it into the light tube, light cable to uh, transfer the signal from the very large distance. Another applies is for the critical angle for the diamond. The diamond index of the diamond is very, very large. So when the light comes into the, the, the diamond, it will reflection, total internal reflection many, many times before they can move out the diamond. Make the diamond is sparkling. The next part of the chapter, we talk about the lens. We have two kinds of lens, conversion lenses and diversion lens. And conversion lens is the lens in which light ray that enters with the parallel right here, parallel to its axis across one another at single point, single point here, on the opposite side with the conversion effect is called the conversion lens. And there are, we have some another terminology. It is the focal point F here. Focal point F is the point at which the light rays cross each other. And the distance from the focal point to the central light, we call it the focal lens. And in the conversion lenses, F is larger than zero. Now we talk about the diversion lens. It's a lens for the light ray bent away from its axis as called diversion lens. Here the light from the parallel and then it's move away, bent away from each other. The focal lens, the diversion lens also have its focal lens, which is smaller zero. We have another problem, thin lenses. On the information in this chapter, we focus on thin lenses. Why? 
because actually in a real life the focal point is not the single point it's not a single dot in the edges of the lens it's maybe a several point here yeah. it's called the lens is thick and the thin lens is the lens is the lens defined to be one whose thickness allow the ray to refract but not allow propagation at that person aberration. It means every light comes or diverts only one focal point. It's not that person at aberration, which makes the focal point is harder to calculate, harder to use in this chapter. In the thin lens equation and the magnification, we have a new term here, new terms here. Pre image is the image in which light rays from one point on the object actually cross at the local of the image and can be processed on the screen. Or a piece of film or a retina of an eye is called a real image. And in the real image, we have this distance do will larger than zero. Virtual image is the image that is on the same side of the lens are the object that cannot be processed on the screen. It means here is something like this see the conversion lens. The object here and maybe we we'll collect the image here. But in a virtual lens something like Diversion land. If we play it, the object here. Oh, sorry. Is that here? We can have the smaller image here. It's a virtual image. It's the same size of the lens. And image distance. Image distance is the distance of the image from the central to the lens. Like I, like I said before, in the real image, the the image the e, sorry, is larger than zero, and the image, the virtual image, the e is smaller than zero. Normally, they are almost larger than zero in this case. And the magnification is called m for magnification equal to s i over S O of the negative of the D I over D O. Here is the image of the conversion lens. In the conversion lens, the real image and virtual image can be on can be occur in both. But this it depends on the position of the object relative to the focal point, focal lens. If First, I will talk about the virtual here. The virtual image will occur when the object is placed inside the focal lens here. Here the focal point. Every time the object is placed in the focal lens, smaller do, it means do smaller than f, the image of the object will be virtual on time and this image will be larger than the object. If the object is placed outside of the focal length, it means they are larger than F. In the case the the image of the object will be the real image. But had the opposite direction. So that is right here. And if they are larger than f but smaller than 2f, they are larger than they are. It means s e larger than s o. If they are large, if they are larger than 2f, the d e will be smaller than the o. It means s e smaller than s o. Okay. The picture in here is the first case of this one. The image of diversion lens. 
the diversion and own way to a the virtual image every time when the object plays on one side of the lens and the object always smaller there is always smaller than the O it means as e always smaller than as o the image of the diversion lens always smaller and virtual 